Next thing I want to talk about is design tools. Um, so it used to be called Mold Plus, but they would change the name, I guess. Design tools sounded easier. And it's a add-in. It has some cool features. I have a tab here for design tools. There's all kinds of options inside of here. You can create um, 3D edges, you can do uh, electro makers, trimming, extending, a um, bunch of different 5x toolkits. We're going to focus in on three features of this one. First one being edge pass or 5x curve. <clears throat> now, say I have this form part and you know, I have a bunch of edges that might be a little you know deformed or anything from the forming process, and I need to come and trim all those tool paths. Now, before I'd probably have to come, whoops, I would have to say something like line normal to, and then place out a bunch of vectors, and then tilt those vectors. And I would have to do that all the way around here, and it would take me quite a while. The design tools. Well, I'm just gonna do a quick edge path. I pick an edge. And we're already starting the toolpath. I can click the start, say I want to go just that section. I don't have to go all the way around. I can change the direction, or I'll just do a full pass. Happy with that. Um, I don't like the cut direction, so I'm going to reverse that. Cool. I need to add a tool, so I'm at my little lightning bolt. It's going to pull up library i'm going to say quarter inch flat end mill because everybody has one of those we can simulate this so as i'm coming around this angle i see a lot a tilt in back and forth let's see what this corner looks like till eh, not too bad seen worse coming around the back side And on this section, I don't like those retilts going back and forth. So close out of there. Let's see how we can fix this. So like I said before, I would have to go modify each one of these vectors, which is nice that the design tools is drawing up the vectors for me. But since I'm still in the edge pass, I can select the vectors I'd like to modify. I'll say interpolate vectors within range. It smooths those out. And we'll smooth this one out. Again, I'm going to smooth out this section. Going around the back was good. I'm going to smooth out this section. And where else do we have? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Smooth that all out. I'm going to go back and I can simulate that. So I get it to simulate it before I actually finalize any toolpath, which is kind of nice. So that looks a lot smoother. This section looks smoother. And then we'll go around the back and see what that looks like. And Voila, I'm happy. Now, probably don't want that tool cutting right on top of there. So, I'm going to tell it. We're going to do a side offset. And we'll cut a little bit past the bottom. We'll generate that. Tool is corrected. Letting it do its thinking. 
And what we're going to see is that it created a five axis curve. We can back plot, verify, whatever you want to do with that. And we're going to see a nice smooth tool motion.